I have small hands. And that sucks because, well, you know what they say, small hands, small feet. Now, if you're like me and you also have small hands, you also probably have a hard time playing octaves. And if you're not like me and you have large hands, well, you also probably have a hard time playing 11th, so. But after watching this video, I personally guarantee that you will have the chance to potentially, under certain circumstances and favorable conditions, possibly be able to extend your finger range uh, by a noticeable amount. Now, before we get into any of the actual tricks, um, I highly, highly recommend that you make sure that your hands aren't taped together. And the reason for this is because if your hands are taped together, you can't move them. Wait, oh, I just realized that I can't actually, can't actually end the video. End this. And I uh, actually can't see where the phone fell, so. Uh... First thing you might want to try is one of these finger extenders. Let's see how this thing works. Octaves, no problem. Ninths are pretty good. Tenths are doable. Tense are as far as it goes. It's not the most comfortable thing in the world. It is a little bit clicky. So for that reason, I'll give it a three out of five. For this next part, you're gonna need some string, a bit of tape, and last but not least, you're gonna need some craft sticks. So what we're gonna do here is grab a popsicle stick, grab your string, and we're gonna cut off a piece of the string. Um, depending on how long you cut it, you'll have a longer or shorter range. But for our purposes, we'll just go with a um, 18 and a half inch length. Take the string and wrap it around this popsicle stick. And then afterwards, just grab a piece of tape, firmly secure the string onto the popsicle stick. Now we're gonna be we're gonna be attaching this entire thing onto a note of choice. Just stick it onto the back. I'm just gonna go for an E. And afterwards, with this excess bit of string, just simply attach it to a finger of choice. And we now have pretty good remote control over this. Octaves. No. Yes. Okay, so this one, it's not very versatile because you have to pick a single note, but it is kind of, it is kind of cool. And another downside is that it uses popsicle sticks, which are non-renewable. So for that reason, I will deem this method a solid 0.34 out of five. For this next one, don't worry, craft time is not over yet. We're gonna be creating a pedal for your fingers on the keys. I'm sure that makes a lot of sense. More loops. All right, now instead of playing those two notes, we could just simply, and then you can combine that. And already we got a, we're at an 11th, but, the cool thing with this technique is that it's very, very scalable. So if we were just to take another two popsicle sticks. That's pretty good. But the scalability doesn't end there. So if you want it to keep going. You know what? Okay, this is good enough. So uh, I'll rate this one a... 
a five out of four on scalability, but a overall two out of five because this is gonna be a pain to clean up. For this next part, all you're gonna need is a third hand. And, oh. and obviously with a third hand, you can easily play super large intervals. But there's a lot more you can do with your third hand. Like you could have it play a walking bass line for you. Anyways, like I said, there's no promises that these techniques will actually work, but on the off chance that it does somehow possibly create a circumstance under which these methods would actually benefit you, um, well, you should have something that looks kind of like this. <laughs> 